Super this morning got the mobile crew, honey crew down and pulled in and starting to set up. About to start yanking off supers. They set up you know, away from the hives to help uh, alleviate the bee traffic around them. Hives are a couple hundred yards down the road there. They set up this mobile unit out here and drive into the yards with a side-by-side -side, pick up supers and bring them in and out that way and um we'll show y'all how they how they do this Guys, set this mobile unit up out here a couple hundred yards or, or better. This just depends on the location. Try to get off far enough from the yard that you don't have too many bees. Trying to wrap them up up here where they're extracting at. They keep the. They send out the crew, pulls the supers on the side by side, pulling the trailer, and uh, they'll go pull a few supers at a time bring a load back, stick it in the back end of the trailer on the table, and close the trailer up best they can. Uh, they got fans running inside the trailer. And um, the guys in there run through the uncapper and extractor and, and set the empty boxes back on the table. These guys will grab those empty boxes and go. We got a uh, We'll set a place up out in the yard away from the hives where we'll stack the empty supers. 
let the bees rob them out, clean up what's left in them. We'll come back in a couple days and grab them and, and take them back and store them. <clears throat> That's kind of the process we'll run through. You'll see, you'll see some, we're leaving our excluders over the, over the single deep brood box. We'll uh, take, take a deep and extract a deep and place on top of each excluder so that'll return it back to a double deep. It won't be a double deep brood box. It'll be just, it'll be one, one of those deeps will be above an excluder. And uh, we come right back in the next week or so and start, start making splits into that deep above, above that excluder. When we do that, we'll uh, come back the next day and change it out for a double screen board and split, use that to separate the hives. And you'll see that process later, get a better understanding of how we do those fall splits. When the crew brings the extracted supers, we're setting them out there away from the yard. There's the yard over here. They're going to drop them supers off over there, come back, grab another load off, take them back to the trailer, and just repeat that process through, through the yard. Guys are using some of these motorized fume boards. They seem to be working working really good. Probably probably well worth the money for these things. They clear out the box really really good and and quick. I've been impressed with those fume boards. Got a little battery motor that sticks right in the top. Turning on it, it blows that air through the fume board down into the hive. Pushes them down pretty fast. Set the drawn out boxes of, out here. The yard's up there, about 100 yards away, up there beside my truck. We just moved these, these drawn out supers out here, set them out. These bees will rob them out pretty quick, clean them up. They, they'll make use of what, what's left in there and take it back and store it up. So that's a, that's a positive. Also, we can. When we put these supers up, they'll be cleaned out and store really well. So uh, this is a, this is a important to, to do this. We'll leave them here for a day or two. You know, however long it takes us to to get finished up pulling supers off, probably be three or four days. And uh, we'll just make rounds through, come back around and, and throw all these on the trailer and haul them back to our storage yard. We use a Connex box. We'll stack all these supers up in Connex boxes and and put our Max Wax Moth prevention treatment on it and uh, store them till next year.
So as you've seen before, we had already moved the brood box down to one single brood chamber with the queen in the bottom. Queen excluder above that had a second deep and supers above it. Those are pulled off, left the queen excluder in place, extracted the deep and the supers. They set the supers off over there and bringing the deeps back. I'm gonna place the deeps right back on top of that dump of that queen excluder. That deep box of drawn cone will be what we make our splits into starting next week. That'll be our fall splits and we'll over overwin them, winter them just, just that way. When you use this this system the way uh, the way that we manage our hives, moving that second double deep on, and um, then pushing the bees down in time to allow that brood to hatch out of that top deep, extracting it, bringing back ten drawn out combs, ten drawn frames, and placing them back on the hive for your fall splits. That 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 creates a tremendous situation that's a, a great start for a split with them 10 drawn out frames you put a bucket of syrup on them queen cell into into onto that box with three frames of open brood and and the bees that that are adhering to those frames that they can use all of that syrup and feed that comes into them to to grow out the hive and, and and put up stores rather than having to dry out any frames and that makes a tremendous difference especially this late in the season after the flow is over with it gives a a big huge head start to that hive to getting in good condition to be overwintered <laughs> 